Now, I'll go ahead and say this. Uh, I had to see about one of my gals. Uh, that uh, They all love me, but one of them's sort of a critical point in her life that, uh, you know, we, we have to put that foundation on them. And, but in any event, I had to cut that video short, but uh, now I've got my big guard dog out here, and he's probably going to want to scratch on some stuff, old Festus, and uh, boy, I'd hate for the person that he got a hold of. <laughs> but anyway, y'all seen Festus. But uh, let me let me say this. I, I've got to move on to some other stuff. But I do want to. I, I want to. I want to say this. And some of you bear with me. You already know this. And but I want. I want to try to. And I've not took sedation pills. I'm not on no uh, drugs or nothing. I'm just trying to be cool, calm, and collective on this because I feel that this is the leading for these uh, videos. Now, I'm talking to the so-called Christians out there right now for a minute. So y'all just sit back. You may want to go through this. I don't know if it'll take two minutes or ten, but you may want to click it off if you're an atheist. That's up to you. I'm not trying to be your Lord or tell you what to do. So you do what you want to do. But I understand God takes care of us. And I understand He supplies all our needs according to His riches and glory through Christ Jesus. But I also understand this. Some people say, no shouting, you shouldn't do that, they ain't getting a point across, this, that, and other. Okay. Well, I'm I'm pretty sure, beyond a shout of a doubt, that uh, if Jesus drove the uh, money changers out of the temple, he didn't do it by whispering to them. I know beyond a shout of a doubt that when Jonah went to Nineveh and preached to them about destruction, that he didn't do it by sitting on a bench and hoping somebody would come by and whisper it in their ear. Okay. And I'm sure Jeremiah, the weeping prophet, he was not a lily-livered, uh, uh, spineless wimp that, that, that talked uh, with a low, little old bitty tone. No, he shouted it from the rooftops. You know, and so did Joel. And so did many others. And Moses did the same thing. So I just wanted to get that out of the way and let you know that if you, cannot, if you can't handle when end time gets riled up and the Holy Ghost just fires him up, if you cannot handle it, I would suggest you find you another site to go to this that'll do it in the realm that you're uh, available to be able to comprehend, understand, and adapt to. And, and having said that, I'll get that out of the way and move on. But, there has been a lot of this, that, and other going around about these little things on mailboxes, stop signs, and stuff like that. Look. They're not going to go out and do that. Not when they have face scanning cameras all over the place. They know where you're at because, uh, by the way, they have your uh, social security number. Uh, they know where you live. They have massive databases. I won't get into who's operating that, but there's a lot of that dealing with the uh, uh, the Israelis are uh, really taking care of a lot of that for uh, the government. But like I said, I'm going to be careful. Uh, they have reasonable data on all of you to come and engage you within a certain period of time. It's just that simple. So they don't have to go around and put this colored thing on this mailbox, this, that, phase one, phase... Look, man, get over it. Let's get real with the intel. Let's, let's, let's stop chasing uh, 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 something that's, that's not real and try to stay real. Time's too short to send people off on this path to go to try and appeal crap off of stickers that are, are put on there by the uh, uh, DOT. It's just a reflective sticker, okay? It's nothing more than that, nothing no more, no less, okay? But, in any event... Oh, man. You remember the critical incident uh, that took place? The man, the man in California killed his family members and himself. Remember I spoke about that? If you'll notice, uh, every now and then they'll show you on the TV if something takes place, there'll be a swarm. Like a friggin' hornet's nest of cops and SWAT and all that over things that's not major. But they're so pumped up and so ready 
for what they already know is coming in the near future that I've been screaming and begging and trying to get you to understand. They're pumped. They're ready. Are you? That's the real question. Are you prepared? Are you ready? For what's fixing to come down as far as civil unrest and the collapsing the economy and, uh, you know, different things. Are you ready? See, Homeland Security, FEMA, and DOD, and DOJ merged in uh, Federal National Security Forces and uh, Air Force, Army. They got air support. They got complete access to full civilian law enforcement, DOD resources as needed. Look, and Katrina was, Katrina was one of those things. Quit, Festus. Quit. I'm trying to do a video. Quit. FEMA was one of those things that, uh, as they came in and confiscated guns from law-abiding citizens that were try trying to protect their homes, they wanted to see the reaction. That was a small wildfire. As, as they pushed themselves on the uh, destroying the Second Amendment in that time period, they wanted to see what the reaction was. Why in the heck do you think Blackwater was down there, brother? All those uh, hired mer private mercenaries and all. You know, what if the people would have said, you know what, I'm not giving up my weapons. i got a home to protect, and I'm not giving them up. But in that small arena, if you'll go back and study it, stop it, Festus! Sorry about that. They wanted to see the reaction. They used that, that uh, intel gathered, and they based that on different areas that they might be able to come. And I say might because I think they'll meet with some resistance when it, the doo-doo really hits the fan, this chamber really hits the fan. They're going to meet re with resistance in certain areas of the country. They've already planned for that. They've already took their intel, and they are going to use overwhelming force. Am I trying to immoralize you or demoralize you? from being a patriot and standing up for your rights? No. That's why I begged you to prepare, to get your guns, get your ammo, get your food. They're watching us. They remind me of the watchers, the evil watchers in the book of Enoch. I won't expound on it right now. That's another time, another day, if God gives it to me. Remember this. They asserted uh, local, county, state, things across... This nation to seize all personnel and equipment under the specific executive orders that are already in place. <clears throat> so, don't be so tied up into that American dream of a business you're still holding on to because it's soon to not be yours. It never was. You just thought it was. You might want to look at... Uh, and how to, I almost try to say this uh, in wisdom. You might want to look at some hard decisions you may be fa ha fixing to have to make in the near future about just letting that business go to hell in a handbasket, because it already is anyway. You may want to look at survival for you and your family versus status in society. I said you may want to look at it. Remember, under martial law, any, any person observed carrying a weapon in, in restricted areas or location is declared hostile zone and subject to deadly force, being shot. Now, I'm just revealing to you small segments of information that is available to you if you'll search and look. I'm not a tutor nor a teacher. I'm a watchman blowing the sound in the trumpet, buddy. See... We're going to wind up before this thing wraps up with an international law. We're going to wind up with a, a, a one world currency. We're going to wind up with everything's going to be on a global deal. And the more you're prepared to resist it, the more time we'll have before it takes place. See, 30,000 preachers are contracted to pay and manipulate citizens to turn them in if they seem to be out of the kelter, if you're going to that church, I don't go to them. They'll even lead people to, they'll even be a pawn of the government to lead people to detention camps. 
evil men pretending to be godly, just like it was in Germany. I'm out of time. I'll be back.